Hi, everybody. I'm Eileen, one of the marine biologists and the aquatic husbandry manager here at that fish place at Pet Place, and welcome to TFP TV. Hey, everybody. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about one of the most popular and kind of most unusual, more specialty creatures for your saltwater aquarium, the mantis shrimp. Uh, these guys are not the same kind of shrimp that you might be used to, you know, the little peppermint shrimp that help clean up your tank or the skunk cleaner shrimp that clean up their tank mates. These guys are more likely to eat their tank mates. Uh, mantis shrimp are definitely predators. They're something you don't want to have at a community tank, but if you're looking for something more unique for a species only tank or for something even for your reef tank, they're definitely kind of a little more unusual. We have one pupil in our eye, mantis shrimp, as a collective, have three. One stacked on top of each other. We have a certain number of color rods in our eye. Mantis shrimp have 12. They can see colors that we can't even imagine just because their eye structure is a lot more advanced than ours is. The most popular of these would be the peacock mantis shrimp. They're one of the most colorful mantis shrimp and one of the most active. A lot of other mantis shrimp might only be out at night these guys are out pretty much all the time. And if you ever see any of the news stories about mantis shrimp, these are probably the pictures that you see in them. But there's a lot more mantis shrimp in the trade than just the peacock. One of the most common other species that we get in is the Chiragra mantis. This is also one of the only ones that you can tell the difference between males and females just by looking at them instead of counting spinnerets and all sorts of other technical stuff. The males and females are completely different colors most of the time. The females are definitely the most popular ones that we get in a lot, that they're kind of a little more sandy color, but they're also pretty active. These, just like the peacock mantis shrimp, are a kind of mantis known as smashers. These are the most popular kind of mantis shrimp that we're gonna see in the trade. The other one are slashers. These, not really available in the trade quite as much, the difference between these is how they attack their prey. Just like the name suggests, smashers have really powerful fists that will literally smash their prey. Kind of like if you've ever seen the Rock'em Sock'em robots, kind of the same way. They hold it cocked up and go out and literally punch whatever they're trying to go after. Slashers have more like blades on their front claws, they literally slash things, more cut them as opposed to the smashers that smash them. One of the most difficult parts of looking for a mantis shrimp to keep in your tank is identifying them. A lot of times they come in even to us as a sort of mantis shrimp and we have to identify them. Problem is, a lot of them look alike. And even ones that might look different, depending where they're collected from, what depth, what type of environment, you know, the region, even 50 miles apart in the ocean could look completely different. A couple of the ways that we identify them, the biggest one is by the meral spots. If you can get close enough to look at a mantis shrimp head on, you notice right on the inside of the raptoral appendage, that part that smashes or slashes that we talked about before, right on the inside of the elbow is what we know as the meral spot. Different species have different meral spots. Some of them, like the Smith's mantis shrimp, has a really distinctive bright purple meryl spot with a white ring around it. Others might have white meryl spots, some have orange, some have just fleshy colored ones. But looking at those is one of the biggest ways we can tell that this is definitely this species and not this one. Some of them also have distinctive coloration, like the tail spot mantis shrimp. These have bright orange spots right at the end of the tail, right above the little flap that we know as the telson. Some of the others might have certain stripes on them. Some the eyeballs might even be checkerboard, like the ciliata mantis shrimp. They actually literally almost look plaid on top of them. But identifying the mantis shrimp is the best way to know that the one you're getting is the best one for your tank. It's gonna be active at day or night, and also is responsibly collected. Some of the ones might look identical, but require collection that is more destructive than others that can be collected more safely. 
Thanks for joining us here on TFP TV. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our future videos. And if there's any videos you want to see in the future, make sure you let us know in the comments. Thanks and see you next time.